it's Rudia and welcome back to my channel Rudia TV. I know it's been like forever since I've made a video and I'm just so excited to actually be in the process of making some more videos for you guys and getting my channel going again. Things have not really slowed down but I want to continue making videos so I'm trying to make the time. So. Forgive me if I don't post as often or upload videos as often, but I will try because I just love doing this. So I want to continue it for sure. So this video, I just want to do an update about what I read for the year so far and what I'm currently reading. I did set a Goodreads goal for this year of 20 books, which is kind of a little bit, but I'll tell you why. Last year, I set my goal at 100 books for the year and I did not meet it. And it was just because I was finishing up school and all these things were just happening and I just wasn't able to meet that goal. And it really did depress me just a little bit. I mean, you know, there was things to get depressed about, but it did upset me just a little bit that I wasn't able to meet that goal. And I just, at the point of making the goal on Goodreads this year, I decided that I'm going to make it something that I can attain. So I set a reasonable goal for myself. Obviously, I would love to read more than 20 books. Um, I most likely will, but I just wanted to leave it as 20 and see how we go from there. So I'll just get right into it, starting with the books that I've completed reading for the year so far. So the first book is one that I actually started reading last year during Christmas. It is My True Love Gave to Me and this is a book with different stories relating to the holidays. So it's by various authors. Um, one of my favorite authors is in this book and I just adore all of the stories in this book. It was really nice to read it during Christmas time and so I did receive this book early in the year and I just didn't want to read it at that time in the year. It was around June, July and I just saved it for December and so I started it in December and I finished it in January and I totally enjoyed it, recommend it absolutely for next Christmas time. You should definitely pick this one up. This is actually the English cover and version of the book, the US edition, wasn't all that pretty. I mean, look at this, right? Right? <laughs> it's just so gorgeous. One of my friends actually organized to have this brought to me, I suppose, from England and I appreciate it so much. I just love this book. I've wanted it for two years now and I was able to get it last year. So I really appreciate it. and. It was really good. I enjoyed it. So definitely pick it up next Christmas. The second book is, it was a gift as well. You see people just know me and they just buy me books. I mean, I will be your friend if you buy me books. <laughs> Seriously though. <laughs> so this is actually a Christmas gift from my friend Liam and it's just so cute. Like he put this little card in it. I used it as a bookmark while I was reading the book. It's still Alice by Lisa Genova. I suppose I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly but we'll just go with it. Um, this is a book about Alzheimer's and it was very interesting for me to actually read a story from that perspective, from this perspective of somebody with Alzheimer's and it just made that whole disease just that much scarier, you know? and just to appreciate people more who might suffer from this disease it's i don't know it was such a good read though you definitely recommend it um in the book i do have the little note that he left in the box it's just so cute thank you very much liam <laughs> the third book is a book that i have been wanting to read just forever and just never got the time well I, well, yeah, the time, sure. <laughs> but it is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Um, obviously, J.K. Rowling wrote this book. It is part of the Hogwarts Library. I didn't read it before because I've been waiting to get the perfect edition of the whole set to read, but I realized that would just never happen because they keep coming up with new ones and I just can't decide which one I actually want. So. 
I just had this in Scribbles and Quills, a customer ordered one, and I was like, maybe I should just read it, you know? So I took this one and made it my own, and I read it. It was really good. It's, I mean, it's a textbook of like the different beasts in Harry Potter. It's interesting to read, but it is a textbook at the end of the day. Um, so it does get kind of boring and ask me if I remember all of the beasts. No, I don't. But it's a good resource to have if you want to ever like go back and check and see, you know, which beast does what. Um, also, what I thought was very cool in this book, you have like annotations from like Harry and then from Hermione and then from Ron and so I really enjoyed reading their banter within the book because it's written they wrote through the entire book and made little comments and it was just really funny to you know hear them go back and forth so that was very interesting with this book so this was the third one that I finished this year the fourth one is actually uh, the second book in a series that I started I think a year or two ago and this author has become my one of my favorite authors Claudia Gray and it's 10,000 skies above you and I just love the series so much it's a fireblade series it has to do with interdimension travel so I just love the whole concept of interdimension travel or like time travel like I just love anything to do with that so this book was really really good to me um, I do have the first book yeah it's right here so this is the first book and I mean just look at these covers I adore them so much the third book I actually is on the way to me so hopefully I'll get it soon and I'll be able to read it and continue this it, it, it is a trilogy so I will complete this trilogy hopefully by the end of the year it'll be one of my 20 books <laughs> i'm sure i'll get more than 20 books read hopefully i mean we'll see you know life gets in the way so yes that was the fireblade series and i love it so that is how many books that is the fourth book the fifth book that i read is actually not a fiction book it is quite boring for some people <laughs> if you don't like these sorts of things it's about grammar it is called woe is i and it is by patricia t o'connor one of my friends slash customers um from scribbles and quills ordered this book because it was recommended to her by a judge and so i decided to just get myself a copy and to read it and so i did <laughs> and so it's i mean it's good it was very good in terms of like dealing with a lot of common mistakes a lot of common grammar mistakes a lot of common spelling mistakes that people usually make in writing and in speaking and pronunciation as well and so it was very enjoyable for me I don't know if everybody would enjoy this type of book but I mean if you are someone who's interested in improving your writing skills your speaking skills and just general knowledge I suppose you would love this book too um, it's written in not a textbook per se style like not a regular textbook you feel like the author is actually speaking to you she makes jokes throughout the book um, gives you like like regular examples that you could apply to your everyday life so that you understand it better and it's just it was really good for me it was so that's this book the other book the last book that i finished reading for the year so far is this one it is also not a fiction book it's more for self-improvement whatever book um i stood before the audience and my mind went blank 100 rules of public speaking this is by ronnie k buddha saying he taught me in hewitting and he is also a judge and so i read or i read all of his books so i hadn't read this one so i picked it up and it was really good very good advice in terms of public speaking and being confident and just being able to express yourself fully in front of an audience 
and I enjoyed it. I mean, these this is what I live for, you know, self improvement and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, this is very enjoyable for me. The only thing is, it was not on Goodreads. I tried to add it to Goodreads, but then when I checked my Goodreads right before I filmed this video to just um, check all the books that I've read for the year, it wasn't there. So so I don't know if I have to go and put it back or I'll see what's going on with that after I film this video. So yeah, that's this book. Oh, he, um, Justice Buddha Singh also has a lot of other books. There is one, The Complete Advocate, that we use as a textbook in humaning. I'm sure everybody would know about that one. But he also has other books that are really, really interesting and informative for any law student or anybody who is just wanting to improve their advocacy or general speaking skills so you should just definitely check it out if that's what you're interested in so those were all the books that i've completed for the year so far <laughs> we are in march april is starting just now so that is three months worth of reading that i did so far so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it be sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my videos you can also like my page on facebook follow me on instagram and twitter and i'll leave all of those links down below so you can find them if you want to so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye